What's up, Vogue? I'm Kiki Palmer, and this is what I wear in a week. Ooh, ooh. This look is a Hanifa original, darling. I kind of think about myself as like a Barbie doll. Uh, well, at least the part of me that exists as Kiki Palmer, that persona. And this kind of puts me in like my millennial diva kind of Kiki Palmer vibe, from the colors to the bedazzles on the jacket and to the crop top little moment that's happening. I just feel very jazzy, excited, and fun. And that's just like, you know, that's the vibe. What I love so much about social media um, or what made me fall in love with social media is that there was tons of freedom. I started in the industry in a very traditional sense and it was like your opportunities were only available if someone offered them to you. And when it came to Instagram and like just like creating my own content, I had it all in my hands. You know, it was all like I had the opportunity to tell the stories that I wanted to tell and express myself as any kind of in any kind of way that I wanted to as an artist. And it, it didn't have to be defined by how other people saw me. And so I think for me, it really represents freedom of expression. And you know, I'm, I feel like I use my social media again to express the, the most authentic sides of me, but especially that like millennial diva. This gorgeous look is Laquan Smith. And then here we have this just elegant and sexy dress, which I feel will be perfect for any red carpet, whether I'm walking it or hosting it. Shout out to Matt Gala. <laughs> I just love this look. It feels, makes me feel sexy, I feel young, but I also feel elegant because of the length, the split, we're able to show some leg, the bling, 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 I'm shining and bouncing off the walls. It's your moment, you know what I mean? The cutouts, show my little tattoo off. I just love it. I have a crazy relationship with the red carpet. As a kid, I would always get anxiety simply because 10 minutes before every red carpet, I would get some type of you know food, anything on my dress. So if you look at any of the earlier photos of me, a lot of times I would have like a little bag here, or a little bag there. Thank goodness it's all behind me, knock on wood. So now I'm in my Roberto Cavalli look, which I just live for Roberto Cavalli. It always makes me think about my girl, Aaliyah. Nobody wore Roberto Cavalli like she did. And whenever I'm in this type of vibe, I just feel very sexy, feminine, and powerful. It's just a very strong look. Like I feel like I'm a superhero and I'm ready to go kick some butt, which I'm gonna manifest a superhero role off of that. This would be the perfect look. But anyway, I digress. The point is, this is like, you know, me and my mysterious edgy vibe. Like I'm attending a concert or I'm performing at my own concert. You know what I'm saying? This is just giving you that attitude and that vibe where everybody knows when you walk into the room, oh, she didn't come to play. I mean, it's giving you everything you really need. Wham. I used to feel like I only had to be you know, one mood, like one mood, one attitude, one style is what represents the entirety of me. As I continue to evolve and just like embrace all the different aspects of myself, I realize that I can play with fashion more and be a different character and jump into a different vibe. And it doesn't mean that I'm not being me or I'm not being true to my fashion sense because it all is me. This look is Louis Vuitton down, honey, from head to toe. And what I love about this look is that it's very playful yet mature. You know what I'm saying? Like the way that the shape of the pants go, I feel very like I'm a grown woman and I'm not here to play games. It could dub as a nice little interview look or a press day, you know what I mean? It could also dub as that. But it's just giving me that playful fun vibe while also letting you know she's structured, she knows business. You know, I love it. But at the same time, the color and the knitted accents at the top, and then obviously the sneaker on the shoe is still like, I can get going with the kids. You know, so I really would consider this like my off duty type outfit. Like, okay, I'm going to vacation Bible school, or we're going to Central Park, or maybe we're even having brunch somewhere nice, like a good little rooftop. I'm getting me a mimosa and me and the girls I keep in. This entire look is 
R13. I don't like to play favorites, but this is probably like my favorite look because I really rest in this space. Like, I'm always trying to be just like comfortable and casual and I just like everything to throw on and fall off. You know, it's like that streetwear upscale type vibe. It's for any occasion. And this is the full R13 look. I'm still giving you fashions down, honey. When you get into these shoes, I mean, we got all type of arts and crafts going on with them. Got a little platform moment going on. So it's very much still giving you a look, but it's just like, I barely had to try. I just threw something on, hanging off the shoulders. And this jacket right here I love because you can really you can really get into anything with this. You can wear it like I was just wearing it, or you can even have it hanging off here and like just button it right there. Like there's so many different ways that you can really like make it you. And I just love that. And if we really want to kind of like jazz it up for, you know, oh, make it prolong for the day, or just go into a, a, a even jazzier vibe, we can put a little bag to it like that. We can hit it on the shoulder, right? Also, we can hit them with the cross body. Y'all know how it is, cross body. And just show up to the day party like, how y'all doing? Oh, y'all, I was running around all morning, but I just stepped through to say hello to y'all. Get into my shoes. You know, you can really just give them a whole fashion moment, like effortless. So I'll admit, I am the kind of person that has a busy schedule. So much so that I have to literally or I guess I should say I learned to schedule in personal time because if I don't schedule it in, then it's really never going to happen. And then I started realizing it's because I was not taking the same initiative that I was taking in my career as I was in my personal life. You know, I was not setting the stage for these things being a priority. But ever since I realized that it starts with me, I felt a lot much more in control and more empowered and, and, and feeling like I can have it all. I just have to realize that the same effort that I put into my career is the same effort I deserve in my personal life. This is what I would consider my going out look. I'm going out with my girls. We're maybe making a stop at the Soul House. We're in LA, we're roaming the Hollywood streets. This is just very much so I'm that girl around town having fun and getting into some things. So I definitely feel like this is just like, you know, I'm a girl's girl vibe. It actually reminds me of this one time that I, I went to this party and um, I was pretty much covered up from head to toe. I kid you not. The entire night, all these guys kept coming up to me saying, I love your style. You really looking good in your look. I just wanna let you know, you killing them tonight. And I'm like, this is the most compliments that I've ever got on any look. I'm telling you like, everybody was just like, girl, you look everything. It's that thing where it's like, you know, you stand out sometimes when you do less. This is what I would call like my travel day look, okay? I'm wearing this John Elliott puffer, which is perfect for you on the plane and trying to get cozy. I've got this cute set by Laquan Smith. He's absolutely amazing. You know, I'm giving you the light flex with the Balenciaga slides, you know? When I think about traveling, my number one main thing is always comfort over style, okay? I know that's crazy, but you know, if you're gonna be on that plane for six hours, five hours, you need to make sure you're comfortable. However, there are some ways that you can still give it this upscale type of vibe, going with like a two-piece set, you know what I'm saying? Or a little cropped, cute color or, or cut of a little jacket. There's ways that you can keep it still jazzed up so when you land, you coming out there like, hey, in case somebody wanna snap, snap a picture or two. All right, well, that's seven days and seven looks. I hope you guys enjoyed it with me.